What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, what could it be that's hiding in here for me? What's in the box? What's in the box? Is this a model kit or what's in here for me? What's in the box? What's in the box? How hard is it to put together? Is it made of leather? Hey, what's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Today's episode of What's in the Box was filmed right here at Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Ursulescu and I am the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. So welcome to another edition of What's in the Box when we check out the Fire Slayers Magma Droth from Games Workshop and this is playable in Age of Sigmar Warhammer. So let's take a look at the back of that box. You can see the awesomeness of this model and it's got paint as well. So let's open this thing and see what's inside. But actually before we do that, <laughs> sorry to get you all excited there for a sec, I want to say that I've still got a whole bunch of the white dwarves that pertain to the Fire Slayer army. And this one in particular, sorry, sorry, this one in particular <laughs> deals with the very model we're covering in this video, the Magma Droth. And this is issue 103 from the 16th of January 2016. And I will have these magazines available coming soon on my website, www.monster-hobbies.ca, the Canadian one. And this is a cool magazine because it's got all the magma droths in there. You can build this in many different versions and they give you a couple of heroes with this thing for your army. So you're basically getting two models in there. So one of the heroes is the Arik Rune Father. And he looks like this. You can mount them separately or I don't know if you can see that on the Magma Droth. So that's pretty cool. That's option one. He's carrying a big axe. It looks like a key on the axe head. And there's an Arik Rune Mac Rune, my, uh, runes, rune Smiter ha, on a Magma Droth. That's how he looks on the Magma Droth. And they also have them separate down here. So you can have them fighting alongside. And an Auric Rune Sun on the Magma Droth is, I believe, the final model. So there he is on it. And here he is separate. So these old magazines, they are treasure troves of information especially pertaining to the magma droth for this issue so even though they're old check them out because they're still worth it for example here is the paint splatter and it shows you different ways to paint using the citadel paints for your magma droth and it, it's actually a couple of pages on it too they show you painting that and painting the rune father and even the smoke from the pipe that they're smoking or whatever they're doing there and then it gives you the war scroll so if you're in need of a war scroll for this model well one comes in the box but you actually get it in the magazine there's the one for the magma droth and the rune fathers so they give you a lot of war scrolls in this issue and then they show you some other things i think this is was using the the spray colors on it if I remember right and yeah so a good reason to check my shelves for a bunch of these and online of course at www.monster-hobbies.ca now let's go over to the bench and open up our magma droth box welcome to the bench here we have our magma droth now I put this on because I'm getting cold in here <laughs> okay magma droth What's in the box? Can I open this box? Urgh. You will find that the cardboard is thicker on this box, making it a little tougher to open. Okay, there's our runes again. Now this is kind of nice. I like the Games Workshop bigger boxes. Hopefully I'm opening this the right direction. Because they give you this nice tray in here. 
and look at that. Color instructions. That's a plus. That's very much like uh, Mo Monarch models used to give you colored instructions when they were still in business. Oh, no, it's still color. Okay. Check that out. Ar Arik Rune Father on Magma Droth with Arik Rune Son and Arik Rune Smiter. There they are. And then there's another option. Arik Rune Son on Magma Droth with Arik Rune Father and Arik Rune Smiter. And the Arik Rune Smiter on the Magma Droth with Arik Rune Father or Arik Rune Son. So. Open it up and it shows you what tools you could use. And it says read first before assembling your model. Please read through all the instructions and other things. Uh, yeah, so there's the 3D model, the imagery. Telling you all how to build this thing. Okay, I'm flipping from the back. But look at this, you get all three war scrolls. Get this really cool picture on the back there. You could you could frame that, and that would be awesome. And then there's all the paints that they used for this. Very impressive instructions. Too bad they didn't all come like this. There's all the father, son, and the other runesmith. I like the black dragon at the bottom. Maybe I'll do mine that way. Here it's in your books. Oh, there's War Squirrel for the Rune Smiter. And so I'll go backwards here. <laughs> Magma Droth. Yeah, see, so you can glue these guys down separate on the bases. So it's pretty cool. It gives you a lot of bonuses with the super characters. Okay, enough of the instructions. Very nice. Looks like you get two big sprues in this kit. So let's just move that out of the way for a sec. Right off camera, where you go. Have a look at this. There we go. Look at all that detail in there on the dragon. That's his body. I don't know what part this is. I guess I'll find out when I glue it together. See if we can find it. Look, there's a rune stamped right into the dragon. See if we can't find its head here. I think that's part of it. I don't know. Oh, yeah, there we go. Open mouth. Rawr. Okay, that's sprue number one. And sprue number two has. Ooh, just kicked the tripod. <laughs> These are the riders and the Arc fathers and everything. Check this out. Look at this big staff or whatever it is. That's pretty cool. There's part of the the throne for one of them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> A little hatchet. Teeny thing. Yeah. There's the feet. Defeat. Do not accept defeat. Look at all the coin. The keys. Axes, bear axes. Yeah, this is going to be really fun. And then, of course, they give you the bases. There's a big oval base. And a couple for the rune father and son. Or whatever. Father and son singing combo. <laughs> so there you go. Exciting model. Let's try to put it back in the box. Back in the box. Back in the box. Back in the bowl. <laughs> For anybody that remembers the old movie, All of Me. All of me. Why not take all of me? When I said this came with paints, I meant there's a paint chart. I kind of goofed that at the beginning of this. This does not come with paint and glue. Um, but anyway, here is the model. So, I hope you enjoyed that video. And we look forward to seeing the next and final video on the Fire Slayers, where we're going to look at the Battlesmith, 
Battlesmith. The Grimwrath Berserker. And the Auric Rune Master. And the nice thing about this is I don't have to open the box because these are transparent on the back. Ha <laughs> ha! Which is good because then I won't lose the pieces. Anyway, we will see you on the next edition of What's in the Box? Now, I want to talk about something really quick here. We are going to run a tournament on December the 10th, 2016. This is an Age of Sigmar all-day event. You can come down and play on our tables. And how it's going to go is like this. The entry free... free... the entry... The entry fee is free. That's right. And it starts at 10 a.m. and ends at 5 p.m. The army size is a thousand points based off the general's handbook. We're going to be doing three games. The battle plans we're going to use are Kill the Beast on page 141 of the quest for Galmarez. We're going to do the battle on Loch Rioth. Thanar Adar, whatever, from the Trials of the Og here. That was a Warhammer World campaign. And that one's pretty cool because all your soldiers are on ice and they can fall through the ice on a bad dice roll. Uh, Border Wars, page 131 of the General's Handbook, will wrap out our game. So feel free to check those ones out. Um, the schedule will be 10 o'clock. Monster Hobbies, our doors will open. At 10.30, we'll have a little welcome briefing and pair people up. From 10.45 until 12.15, we will take our have our game one. Pardon me. From 12.15 to 1.15, it's going to be a lunch break. Game two begins at 1.15 to 2.45. And then from 2.45 to 3 o'clock, we'll take a 15-minute break. And from 3 o'clock to 4.30 p.m., will be game three and 4.30 to five will be the awards ceremony and the uh, five o'clock the event ends and at six o'clock we close course. Now, you may be asking, well, what is the awards ceremony? Well, what it's gonna be is $100 worth of Games Workshop merchandise as prizes. So like, this could be a prize. It depends on what you wanna pick out. First place is gonna get 50 points, uh, $50 in product, so an item that would be $50 is what you'd win. Uh, $30 for second prize, and $20 for third. So I think this, the Hearthguard are in the 20 to $30 range. I'll have to look it up, don't quote me. We use uh, the Games Workshop prices exactly, we match them, so. But, you know, this would be like second place. If you wanted the Hearthguard, you can pick anything you like, right? As long as it fits into there. And if it goes over, you know, just, cover the balance but at any rate that's what we're gonna do so check us out we want you to battle with us at uh, monster hobbies unit 42b 11th avenue southeast in high river alberta phone the store 403-652-5019 check us out on facebook monster hobbies in high river alberta canada and our website coming up brand new one www.monster-hobbies.com We take PayPal! Ha <laughs> ha! So yeah, for all those PayPal loving PayPal people, we got that. I can also accept Visa, MasterCard, Debit, everything except American Express. Sorry. So sorry. <laughs> but, you know, it's the policies, the terms, the percentages, uh, blah blah blah. So we don't take American Express, but we take everything else. And most people usually have everything else anyway. So, check us out, and uh, what more can I say?